What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Red Official, and I'm back with another video. Now, guys, as you guys can tell, I am back on my main channel. I will be posting a million videos on my main channel, probably not right now, daily, but as I get my groove back, I will be posting videos daily and everything again. Now, we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe if you're new. Um, yeah, man, today what I have here is a Q&A, and I feel like I left you guys for so long, bro. Like, you know, Ray Official, Team Ray, all them, all them members. I left you guys for so long, and I left you guys hanging for so long. Now, I haven't posted on this channel since probably quarantine started, and I haven't posted on my main, like, I mean, not my main. I haven't posted on a couple's channel in, like, two weeks. So, I want to update you guys with everything that's going on, you feel me? And, you know, so y'all not left hanging, because I don't want to leave y'all hanging, and I don't want to... You feel me? I don't want to do that. Like, I want to keep you guys updated on everything because if my favorite couple used to post videos every single day and then they just go missing out the blue, you know, I would want to know what happens too. And that's why I love you guys so much because you guys care so much and you guys are actually worried and want to know what's going on. So here I am going to tell you, but I got a couple questions to answer real quick that y'all want to know about me. So I'm going to answer those questions and then I'm going to get into the tea for real so i hope y'all ready i hope y'all tune in get your popcorn and stuff because this is about to be crazy bro but i'm gonna get stuff started right now someone asks how many shoes do you have i love you so much y'all haven't posted in a long time um i don't have that many shoes anymore i probably got like 40 pair of shoes now i stopped buying as much and you know i start saving and stuff because you know shoes always gonna be there and money's not like you gotta save your money so your money can save you in the future so because anything can happen i got like 40 pair of shoes though honestly um most of them i think probably jordan ones or some dunk nah i got jordan ones way more jordan ones for sure so someone else asked what is my dream car my dream car now it used to be a G-Wagon, and, you know, I love G-Wagon still to this day, and I will forever love G-Wagons, but my dream car now is a Lamborghini Urus. I'm going to get one of those before I turn 24 years old. I'm 21 now, so that's three years, guys. I'll probably get one next year type. You never know. Anything can happen, so I really want a Lamborghini Urus, and that's my dream car. I don't know what color. I just know that I want one really, really bad now. Um... Yeah, that's my dream car now. So, someone asks, how do I choose my fits every day? So, me, I think, I don't really know because I didn't, I don't watch people pick their fits out like that. Like, you know, that, actually, that's weird. I've never seen someone pick their fit out, like, how they pick their fit out. But me, personally, how I pick my fits, I go with my shoes first. So, like, whatever shoes I want to wear. So, for example, if I got some shoes like mm, some off-white Air Forces, black and white, I like to be comfortable. So, I really like cozy vibes. I like to be comfortable at all times. I like to be, you know, I like to move around and stuff like that. Like, this is my fits all the time, just hoodies, sweats, stuff like that. I don't really like wearing jeans or nothing like that. If you guys didn't know, I only own one pair of jeans and that's because i hate jeans and they're so uncomfortable but you gotta have a pair of jeans at least for something so i got a pair of jeans i got a pair of slacks i think and everything else is just sweats and cargo pants no cargo sweats yeah i have all sweats bro that's just put it like that but how i pick my fits first i literally just go with my shoes first i pick my shoes first so um Someone asked, when are they about to get an updated sneaker collection video? I'll probably start one out like the beginning of 2021 with a banger sneaker collection video. I've been buying shoes, just not as much as I used to. I used to really buy shoes. I'm talking like four or five pairs of shoes a week type stuff, but I slowed down on that. So I really buy like, I buy like four to five a month now, not as much as I used to. So I still got stuff. I just buy them. I don't even wear them. Like they're still in the shipping boxes. Like, I haven't laced them up, none of that. So I might actually give you guys a sneaker collection, you know? You feel me? I think y'all gonna mess with this sneaker collection. I got some heat that y'all don't know about. I even stopped posting my shoes that I buy on Instagram. I just, I mean, I stopped posting them on Instagram when I got them. I just get them and then I just let them just 
they just sit all over the house. So I need to update y'all with that for real. I think I'm gonna do that for y'all. My birthday is February 16th, 1999. I'll be turning 22 in a couple months. You know, the time is coming. It's almost here and I'm super geeked. I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet. I wanna leave town, but I hope quarantine and all that is over with by then. But you never know. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is the worst 21st I've ever had. Like, it's my only 21st, but like, it's really been bad. Like, I haven't been able to do anything, go anywhere, nothing like that. We've just been in the house, just chilling and shit like that. So, it's crazy, man. But, here it is. What is your top goals? My main goals that I have for me right now, I really wanna save my money as best as I can, save my money and really buy a house, man. That's really what I want to do. I don't know why lately I've really, you know, real estate is, is good and something that everybody should probably get into if they can. And it's the best way to make your money back and invest into your money. So I've been saving a lot. I really, really want to get a house, man. That's my main goal, like just to get a, a house. That's it. I want a house so bad, guys. You guys don't understand. So... Here it is. Where have y'all been? How's you and your girl? When are you guys going to post again? What made you start YouTube? Can you guys come to Miami when you... So, the question that I know you guys are here for is, is me and Nia still together? Oh, my God. I have so many of those questions, bro. Like, over 100 people asked me that, literally. And I'm going to answer for you guys. Me and Zaniah are no longer together. We aren't together anymore. You know, we broke up. And, you know, stuff happens. But I'm going to tell you this right now. It's not nothing like cheating or anything like that. It's just... Me, personally, I don't want to get too deep into our relationship, but I feel like quarantine and COVID and all this other stuff with us being in the house and not being able to go anywhere, you know, let a, it, 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 it made a big, it was a big part of our relationship. Like, it, it, it didn't mess it up, but, like, it caused us to start arguing a lot and stuff like that, and we just argue about the dumbest things, man, and we don't like to argue. Like, we really like to have good vibes, and we really like to, you know be positive all day like that's 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 the thing that i have when i first wake up i try to be as positive as i can i can have the worst day i can be sick and have the worst headache and i'll try to make the best out of the day that i can because if you let stuff like that ruin your day then that just shows you you're not strong enough as a person and you're not you know you're not really built for it you're gonna every day if something goes wrong you're not gonna have perfect days, just put it like that. If you're not gonna have perfect days, so something messes up your day, one thing messes up your day, like that just shows you, like you're never gonna have a good day, you're always gonna be a negative person. And that's how we were, we didn't like to have bad days and stuff like that, we always try to work things out and stuff. But I felt like, you know, as days kept going and we were working things out and stuff, it was just like so much. YouTube took a big toll on our relationship. We never took a break. We always wanted to post for you guys and update you guys with what was going on. And we always wanted to make sure you guys were tuned in because you guys are also in the house all day, give you guys something to watch. And we lost ourselves doing that. And, you know, we stopped doing what we usually do as a couple. We stopped going out and having fun. We stopped going out to eat and we stopped having dates and we stopped having you know fun days to where we just kick it and have fun all day we stopped doing stuff like that we stopped shopping together we stopped doing a lot of things man and we didn't notice it until like we actually sat there and talked about it and it can be fixed but i feel like right now the best thing for us is like we really need time apart from each other and you know if love is real it's always going to come back but I just feel like that was the best for us at the moment. And it happened a couple weeks ago. It was probably like, you know, two weeks ago. But, you know, it just took a big toll on us. And, like, instead of us actually wanting to stop and have fun, we would do, I would surprise her with something. And then I have to film it because, you know, I want to film and I want to let you guys know what's going on. And it's like YouTube took over our whole relationship and we didn't even notice it. 
So, like, you know, lessons learned. You learn your lessons, and, you know, you can move on from stuff like that. My biggest thing is everybody makes mistakes, and not everybody's perfect, and I know that. And also, Zaniah knows that. Everybody knows not all relationships are perfect. You can't find one perfect relationship right now to this day. You feel me? And that's how it is. But um, my thing is, yes, everybody's not perfect. There's no perfect relationships. But the biggest thing to me is how you go about your mistakes. That's the biggest thing to me. Like, you know, I felt embarrassed admitting to, you know, that's what ruined our relationship. And I'm still embarrassed to even say that. But, you know, it is what it is. You have to face it. In order for you to, you know, fix the problem, you have to face the problem. Like, you can't run away from your problems and then think they're going to just go away. Your problems are always going to be there no matter what. So that was the biggest part of our, you know, that was the biggest reason why we, we aren't together now is because, you know, it just took a fat toll on our relationship, bro. And instead of us having fun and going to do things while we get the chance to, we always wanted to film it and we always made sure you guys were tuned in. And I don't blame none of you guys. It's just... We wanted to update you guys with everything, and we were so into you guys, and we loved you guys so much. It, like, basically, we lost ourselves doing that. You feel me? And it is what it is, but that's it right there. We aren't together. Um, we still talk, you know, trying to work things out. But right now, we both don't know. Um, you guys might think it's easy and all cake, cookies and cream, like, we could just fix it right away but like you know the best time for yourself is space is you by yourself and i've been doing that and she's been doing that and i feel really good about myself she says she's been feeling really good about herself and hopefully you know things come together and you know get figured back out but for the time being i'll be posting videos and i will be you know keeping y'all tuned in and i will be keeping y'all updated because ray official is never giving up on y'all and i love y'all so much and you guys are the best ever so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys tuned into the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think, honestly. If you got any negative comments, please just keep them to yourself because right now is not the best time. But with that being said, it's your boy Red Official, and I'm out. Gang!